We've talked about de-extinction before, the idea that we could be able to bring back extinct animals as long as we have uh, certain parts of them preserved and then reintroducing them into may perhaps uh, their current living relatives. Mm -hmm. And it seems like scientists are well on their way because a team from Harvard University led by re researcher George Church uh, have successfully managed to insert genes from the woolly mammoth into the genome of an elephant which is significant progress in the field. So the woolly mammoth is special because a lot of them died uh, in areas that are now permafrost, so that most of their tissues are largely intact, which we can't say about most which is prehistoric crazy animals. Which is to me. Like, I have put ice cream in the freezer for like a year, uh. and I would not <laughs> touch that shit. It doesn't, it's not ice cream anymore, if you ask me. But these are entire woolly mammoths. Mm -hmm. And they're making well, new ones. Not their genomes, because DNA does degrade over time. Uh, and that's accelerated by the presence of microbes and water, mm -hmm. uh, which Makes is where sense. elephants come in. So, the, you know, they're, they're relatives of the woolly mammoth. So I just, so but we're going to bring them back. We're going to bring back, well, we're going to slowly re-engineer woolly mammoths. I mean, I'd be fine with just a hairy elephant. The lead, the lead researcher has downplayed uh, claims that would bring us close to recreating the iconic animals, but we certainly look like this is a huge step in making it happen. We've talked about like, we can do this, it is possible, and now they've successfully been able to insert that DNA into an elephant genome. Now, this is the first step in something that can get very dangerous. Because first it's woolly mammoths. Yes. Next, it's saber-toothed tigers. And I'm scared shitless <laughs> enough of regular tigers <laughs> whose teeth are not named after swords. Sabers? Sabers or swords. Sword yeah, those, that's a saber, is a sure, sword. Sure, sure. It's not a synonym. Right now we just have tigers, which are essentially like knife tooth tigers. Well, there are some ethical Swiss army knife tooth tigers. No, <laughs> close. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, dangerous animals, for sure. Pairing knife tooth there, tigers there is what we got. There are many ethical concerns involved with bringing an animal back from extinction uh, via their modern day uh, descendant yeah. and yeah, also a, inserting a... the DNA into a genome. Um, mm -hmm. But what is work. wrong? Where could it go wrong? Point to one fictional account of <laughs> de-extincting <laughs> anyone. See, the word there is fictional. Yeah, point to one that one allegory for what might happen if we, you life know, I don't know, like if we were so concerned with whether or not we could, we didn't way, stop to think we should. <laughs> <laughs> we both did the same thing. The same oh, time. yes, we did. There um, you go. So here's the thing. Can I put in a request if we're going to do this? Mm -hmm. I like the woolly mammoth idea. I think it's a lot of kids' favorite prehistoric mammal. Sure. But let me bring your attention to another. <laughs> Oft overlooked, unless you pay a lot of attention at the Natural History Museum. The giant sloth. I'm ready for that. I have... Four thumbs up off camera right now because the giant sloth is the coolest animal that ever lived. It is, you know, sloths, everybody likes sloths. Everyone knows Kristen Bell, Dex Shepard, sloth. <laughs> Fuck that sloth. Oh That's a tiny ass sloth. That is not. What we need is a giant sloth. This room is probably 15 feet tall. That's as big as a giant sloth. How many sloth bodies are preserved in permafrost? I need at least one. I need one. <laughs> um, let's I make don't this. Know. Let's make this happen. I don't know how many frozen cells there are for us to harvest. If there's one, that's enough. Stop. One there's cell. Quitters. Let's find that one cell. They were in North America largely, mm -hmm. and went extinct. Tiny. Very recently, but I think we gotta go to Canada. We'll find one. Okay. There's, what, the, the thing is, like, you find one, you find a lot. They weren't the biggest movers. <laughs> oh, God, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, back to the store, <laughs> Brett. <laughs> they is, had attitude. This is going great. They had attitude. <laughs> head researcher of this project. <laughs> the head researcher
researcher on this project talked about the ethical repercussions of reintroducing these animals to the modern era. And what did they find? And he thought that putting this animal in ecosystems in Russia, including Siberia, might have a positive impact on the permafrost, uh, which is gra gradually receding with climate change, mm. as you know. Uh, though, you know, obviously not everyone shares the views. Some people think this is a horrible idea. Some people are really hung up on sloths. <laughs> <laughs> um, audience. Oh dear. Audience, what do you think of the idea of bringing back the woolly mammoth? And what other animals should we bring back? Maybe a sloth? Maybe not a sloth? Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.